What's going on guys? Welcome to my studio space in Brazil. Come on in. And we are in the heart of Brasilia Federal, Federal District, you, you want to say? So this is a quick tour of the studio space. It's about 200, 250 square feet and has a, a lot of amenities. It's very modern, it's very chic. And we're going to start off with this mini hallway. I'm going to do the best I can. No script, guys, so bear with me. Um, so first thing, we have the phone. And it's the Intel bras. It's flanked by a mirror that's full length. So when you want to walk out and you want to take a look at yourself and see how you look, I think that's a nice touch. The floor has porcelain tiles. And then you have pastel colors. And then that's the first thing I noticed about this space, the warmth, the warmthness. As soon as I came in, it felt so cozy. And I was like, yes, I, I will, I'm glad I picked this place. So it was a great first impression. Now, apart from the specs, obviously it's a studio space. It has one bedroom, one bathroom, one kitchen. And it's pretty fantastic considering that it's a studio space because the fact that it has all of these things, all the kit of parts that you would normally see in a, in a complete bedroom instead of a studio space. You know, you have an island right here, and you have a kitchenette, which I'll get to in the later of the tour. But little things like this I see at, uh, not H&M, but a Swedish company, Ikea, exactly. And I like these little knickknacks. So when I first look at that, I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like the little subtle, details a little subtleties of that so here here's the island that i was telling you guys about you know it's kind of like a, a multi it's like a cross program island where it could be a seating space and also serve as an island to put your food and serve people and that's incredible right so i don't know if they if they that was the intention but little things like that goes very far um now you can look at the modern fixtures here very sleek in design very minimalistic it drapes it's like a drop down ceiling type of fixture and it's a point focus lighting on this particular i don't know if this is like a planting and i like things like that you know most people will walk by and they don't see that but i pay attention to that this is like an air fryer i don't even know how to use an air fryer but that's cool <laughs> So that is the hallway area. And I forgot to mention, this comes with a panel and they give you a code. So that way you can do keyless entry for those nights that you forget to have your key and you, you're like me and you're losing your keys. You just, just punch in the code. All you need to know is four numbers and that's it. That's nice. All right, so let's make our way to the kitchen. We have modern art. And we have some upper cabinetry. Uh, pantry is locked right now because it's, this is an Airbnb. This is a booking. So the owner wants to keep it locked. And then I was like, man, I need to clean this place up before my guest arrives. And lo and behold, we have a broom. We got a vacuum cleaner. So I like this minimalistic peekabooey of concealing things back here. It conceals the space because you don't have a lot of square footage to work with. And that's really clever. Standard refrigerator. And then you have a kitchenette that I was actually shocked to see in the studio space because it's so small. And they made the best of the space because you got your upper cabinetry and um, the woodwork is exquisite and really nice. You have the backsplash with white tile, granite countertop, and the stove cooktop. And then you have, a re this is really cool. You have a Samsung washer and dryer all in one. Like, how do you have all this packed into the studio space? And, and that's why this space sells all the time, right? So now we talked about the specs, we talked about the hallway, we talked about the kitchenette area. And, um, oh, I forgot to ask. I forgot to add. So, you 
This is a peekaboo type of pop-up cabinetry. You just press it and it just pops up like so. You got your cutlery, you got your wine glasses, and you have your dishes right here. And I thought that was really cool. You could just press it and it just opens right up. And this one is not like that as well. It's just your standard cabinetry with the regular hinges. All right. So we're gonna make our way to the living room area. Living room area is really cool, right? One thing I noticed is this swivel TV. You can watch it while you're in the bedroom and you can watch it while you're in your living room. And this is a futon area, a futon space where you could just open it up you know, you don't want to get to the bed, it's not too far away. But let's say you just want to watch movies, you want to eat some popcorn, and you're like, you know what, I just want to chill on the futon. You have the option to, to use it as a couch, or you could use it as a futon, like meaning like you could just sleep there. And simple pilletry, simple stitching, and then you have modern art piece that's framed in the middle. These little things matter a lot. One thing I noticed about this too, it took me a while to figure out what this is. Oscar Niemeyer created the city plan. He designed all of Brasilia, and I didn't know that. I believe it was 1960 or 1980 where Brasilia started to be erected. And within three, four years, it was bustling. And Oscar Niemeyer, rest in peace to him, died at 104 years old incredible architect he had a city planning and i was looking at his manuscripts and he was looking he was being influenced by it is this is like a lake type design and this is all the buildings and this is all you see here even though you don't see complete buildings in a black area the black space of the void this whole thing is brasilia and i was like blown away that's incredible I appreciate things like that. As an architect myself, that blew me away. So this, you wanna see something funny here? These are not real books, but who cares? It adds a nice touch. You know, this is something you can conceal things with. And I was like, oh, this is a nice design book. But then I opened it up and it wasn't. Really cool and dink nice. You got an hourglass. I don't know how long that lasts, but like, I like things like that. These little details matter in these spaces. I'm not sure what this is. But yeah, this is a calendar. This is the wrong date. This is in September. Yeah, so we're, we're not gonna fix that. Not sure, we got some fake planting. And um, I'm not sure, do you, what is this? We got some more light fixtures. This is actually a seating area for workstation. The Wi-Fi is incredible in this place. It's very fast, it's lightning fast. I tested it out myself. That's one of the things I look at when I go to any space. I have to make sure the Wi-Fi is on point. We are on Block B uh, or Tower B and you can see Tower C and I believe it goes Tower D and then goes so on and so forth. Beautiful night, great temperature, nice weather. It gets a little stuffy. You got the AC running, so you got the AC unit as a feature. We have another light fixture, and this is interchangeable. You can play around with it, you know. Another thing I like about the studio space, the fact that it's lighting everywhere. Everywhere you walk, there's lighting. Walls, they have like lighting from the sconces, you got lighting from the your standing, tall fixtures. There's even, you can even control the light here. I don't know how to do it, I haven't figured it out yet, but if somebody else can and they ran it after me, good luck. All right, so welcome to the bedroom. Bedroom is always my favorite place in the studio. Or one bedroom, more house. It's very something intimate about bedrooms, but they have closet space. You know, all your pillows here. Oh, iron. I didn't even know they had one, but they got an iron. Look at that. Queen size bed, I believe. Very good size bed. And then you have 
modern art right above it. Really cool. I was trying to figure out what artist this is. Pablo Picasso. Can't go wrong with that. Great touch with the owner. Respects to the owner. Then you have two nightstands on each side. Could be his or hers nightstand, or him and him, or her and her, okay? Or whatever you, you know, whatever you tickle your fancy. And then, last but not least, I'll take you to the bathroom, okay? It's very small, so we're gonna come on right in. You got an overhead rain, rain setup. You got some waterproofing towels that's standard, and it has very passed out earthy tones that makes you feel cozy. You know, when I'm in this bathroom, it's like a zen-like feel. Um, I feel comfortable. You know, I wash myself off, and it's very cool. A few knickknacks. And again, it's all compartmentalized, and it's concealed. I put all my stuff in the medicine cabinet, so you can't see anything. And you got the water closet. You got a nice shower, and that's pretty much it. And that really concludes the end of our tour. And I hope you guys liked it. Let me go right here. So the bedroom, we got the living room area. We got the island, the kitchenette, and the small hallway. So I hope you guys liked everything you saw. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, like, make sure you comment, and say anything you like, hey, this is what I liked about it. This is what you could improve on. Hey, this is what I appreciated it. You know, I want to shout out to the owner for allowing me to rent the space because it's beautiful. I wish I can rent it for more days, but that's not the case. So maybe next time. But in the meantime, I hope you guys like the space and look out for more. Look out for more. It's going to be definitely more coming on my channel. All right, take it easy.